It's a picture-perfect Sunday in Edmonton as we get set to wrap up week eight with another East meets West battle as the Ticats roll into town to face the winless Elks. Second and seven for Edmonton. Ticats will bring four down the middle. And that is complete this time to Curly Gittens Jr. In roll and looking for number 700. That's been a hard one to come by. Jarius Jackson looking for number one. Oh, There's nice. a completion on the run. Gittens again, his second of the drive. Into the red zone for the first time today. 80% when they get inside the red zone. But he's in trouble. And he's taken down by the Ticats defense. This is a 26-yard attempt just inside the right hash on a third and 12 for Beattie to get him on the board. That is up, and this one, he knocks home. Now he's back in the Tim White we're used to. Caught five of six last week for 66 yards. They'll bring in some extra protection for Bo. Now he looks down the field, intercepted at the 50, stepping in front of it and taking it away is Marcus Lewis. Bo Levi lays it out there. Lewis steps in front of Dunbar and takes it away. Missed three last week. Already has one in the bag today. Jake Julian to hold. Gets it down. Beatty, that kick is up. And it is through. Started this game with his seventh interception of the season. He'll hand it off. Butler trying to get away. And now he does. First down for Butler. Heavy collision at the end of the play. Beach, both got one last week against Ottawa. Second and five for Bo. Down the field. Bridges goes down to get it. And is able to haul it in for a first down. Lego 13 of 14 on the season. That one is up. And he knocks it through. And Hamilton gets on the board. Back to Butler. Butler makes a couple of guys miss. He's got a first down. Ticats work. From the up 39, high snap. Bo settles it down. Now takes a shot towards the end zone, but he misses. Clock ticks down here in the opening quarter. Legio's kick is up, and it is through. Options out to that wide side left here from McLeod Bethel Thompson. Gino Lewis at the bottom of your screen. That's where he's going to look. That's oh. off for Rams, and it falls incomplete. Oh, boy. I don't think Moxie knew that was right above him. <laughs> Second and seven for Bo this time. In trouble. In a lot of trouble, and he'll be taken down by Elliott Brown. Third sack of the season for 41 in green. Mad rush here. Get that ball off just in time, and it goes absolutely nowhere. What happened on that play? They kind of called everybody back, and then they realized there's about seven seconds on the play clock. Julian's gonna kick it back to the Ticats with a lot of time. This one blocked! Blocked at the 30, picked up. Now it's just laying there. Ticats scoop it up and they're gonna take over deep in Edmonton territory. And here's tonight. Mitre was right there again. Kobe, Kobe Jones yeah, might have got it. Might have been Kobe Jones that got his hand on it. I think it was, but Leecher was very close to getting the second one. And DQ Thomas, got it. Just yes. like that, instant field position in the red zone. From the Edmonton 12, Mitchell fakes it over the middle. Wide open, big hit, touchdown. As he drops it in to Giovanni Robinson. Let's go back to Kobe Jones out of Mississippi State. Setting this all up with great field position for the offense, getting that big right arm, a nice reach there to the kick point, blocking that one, scooped up by Thomas, which sets up this tight end over the middle, takes a big hit. Robinson with his first TD. Well, Robinson's a big boy. He's six oh, foot yeah. eight. Second and ten. Pressure coming right up the middle. He'll get it away. And it's that intercepted on the far side. Stepping in, it's Peters, his second of the season. Second and ten for Bull. Edmonton's going to bring everybody wide open. Hakunavanu. He's got the space and he's off to the races. Hakunavanu down to the 30. He's going to take it to the 10. He won't be caught. Touchdown, Tigers. And look at this. He gets it. And Watch then the burst. Boom. See you later. Goodbye. Kai Gray, Purifoy. No chance. As Akunavanu 
with the house call. Look at the stride on this guy. Galloping down the field. Great recognition and great speed after the catch. 6-0. They've been outscored 21-2 to two since then. MBT in trouble. Escapes on the run. Out to his left. Down the field. Misses him. Gavin Cobb was there waiting. And the Boo Birds oh, yeah. are out at Commonwealth. Four receivers. Wide side left for Mitchell. Comes the other way. Has a completion to Bridges. And Bridges takes it down just outside the red zone. This one, the offense has actually moved the ball all the way down the field. Eating up this third quarter. Second and five here. Wide open. It's right down the sideline to the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Ticats. It was an 11 play. 85-yard drive that ends in the hands of Tim White. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Second and eight. They'll bring four. McLeod Bethel Thompson over the middle. And that is broken up. Looking for Gavin Cobb. Moxie and George were there. And a two and out turns into a boo and out. This from their own 51. Mitchell down the field. Trying to drop it in there, and he does. It's Smith all the way to the end zone. Touchdown. Ticats take home another one. It's all Ticats. Four passing touchdowns for an Edmonton killer. And Bo Levi Mitchell. The Elks, I believe they lost Noah Curtis in the first half. He tied for the league lead in sacks. Haven't seen him since. Mitchell down the field. There's Dunbar. Wide open. Down inside the 10 and his first catch of the game has the Ticats knocking on the door for more. Jeff, he's at 309 yards passing his fourth 300 yard game of the season. Looking for a fifth passing touchdown. Wide open in the corner, too easy. Tim White hauls it in. A five pack for Bo Levi and the Ticats embarrassing the Elks in Edmonton. Here he comes. Round of cheers. Oh, it's a different look. Should have been halfway through the second quarter. Definitely halftime. Ford throwing here. Has a completion up to midfield. And it's his good buddy Gavin Cobb who holds it in. D-line and very cautious up front. First and ten from the 41. Ford in the trouble this time. Takes off on the run. There he goes. Down to the 40. Takes a blow just inside the 35. Edmonton has not found the end zone thus far today. Ford. Corner. Lays it out there. Hold in. Touchdown, Edmonton. That was a 10 play, 88 yard drive that took less than four minutes. Trey Ford finds Gittens, and he's got his first touchdown pass of the season. Two for 85 yards and an interception. Trey Ford is 4 of 8 for 46 and a touchdown. Now he's trying to get away, and he does on the run. Out to the left. Now down the field. Got him in. I know it's late in a blow. Yeah, but, but come that was on. sensational stuff. You know, I'm not going overboard here in, in suggesting that in my time in this game, I have not seen an athlete escape like he can escape and do the things that he has done athletically over last season and now even that play. Three options out to the wide side right of Ford. And he's going to look to one of them. Has him down inside the five. Touchdown, Gavin Cobb. First of the season, and Ford finishes back-to-back -back touchdown drives. Ford will have four options out to his right. Geno Lewis at the top of the screen. That's where he's going to go, and he's got him. Eugene Lewis hauls one in. We'll get it at the Hamilton 20. Ford on the run. Out to his right, will pump fake. Stays alive, and he's still going. Are you kidding me? Down to the 10. Did, now it's over. 
Second and two for Ford here. Pump fake. Now lays one towards the end zone. Gino Lewis, touchdown in the 10. Eugene Lewis hauls in Trey Ford's third passing touchdown of the quarter. And the Hi Hamilton Tiger Cats roll into Edmonton and roll over Edmonton. 44-28 the final.